Hi hey y'all, Sheer Seven. Okay, so I wanted to make a video today about accepting yourself. Um, like, to build your self-esteem, first of all, you have to accept yourself as you are at this moment in time. Not what you want to be, not what you wish you could be, not what you used to be, but what you are right now. Because if you can't accept the way that you are right now, then there is no way that you're going to have the confidence and the self-love to embark upon a successful road to improvement. So that means if you're not at the, the place that you want to be in life, you have to accept that and love it and understand that it's all a part of your journey. In order to improve, you have to like what you have now. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to appreciate what you get later on or what you have later on or what you look like later on. You're not going to appreciate it fully. Because deep down inside, if you don't accept yourself as you are, you will never accept yourself you know, once you've improved, because you'll always have that self-doubt and it will never go away. No matter how many plastic surgeries you've had or weight loss, how many pounds you've lost, you've lost, ugh, you have lost, you will still feel insecure inside because you have never accepted yourself at any stage of your life. So, you know, a lot of people fall into this rut. They say, oh, if I lose 10 pounds, I'll, I'll be happy. And then the 10 pounds is gone, they're still not happy. Oh, if I get my nose fixed, I'll be happy. Oh, if I get my lips done, I'll be happy. The reason why most people think that there's something wrong with them is because society tells them that there's something wrong with you. You don't look right. That's not pretty in, you know, in society's eyes. So you're constantly trying to pick yourself apart because an outside source told you you weren't good enough. And even though people come in all shapes, colors, sizes, weights, we're trying to fit ourselves into something in, in a category this small, okay? I mean, I love makeup. I love wigs. I love nails, but if you go on Instagram and you go on Pinterest and you go on all those like tumblers and you look at all the girls who post makeup pictures or uh, like beauty pictures, they all look the same because they all look as if they followed a manuscript on what beautiful is. They all have what's the hot thing now what well, it was like six months ago the kardashian makeup look they all have all this highlighter under their eye eyes look like um white under here and then they have the thick eyebrows and all the lashes and the dark eyes and the nude lip and the sculpted face and then the, either the black hair or they do a brunette um and they all look like clones of Kim Kardashian. Now, I'm not hating on Kim Kardashian, but they're all clones of her because they're all doing her makeup look. They're all doing, you know, her style. And now beautiful is now considered, you know, big lips, this Kardashian makeup look, and a big butt and a little waist. 20 years ago, when I was a teenager, it was small butt, little lips, you, so you see how it changes. So if you're con if you don't like yourself as you are, every um, couple of years, the standard of beauty is going to change. It just is. So you will never like yourself. Even, uh, imagine the people who got plastic surgery to make their butt smaller and their lips smaller. You what do you think they feel like now, running around when everybody's trying to get butt implants and lip implants and you know all this? How, how dumb do you think they feel? Because they didn't love themselves enough and they were following what society thought was beautiful. <laughs> so you have to love yourself because if you love yourself, like 
let's just use some of some of the celebrities who embraced their curves when curves were not the thing when they when they came out like Beyonce and Kim I, we all know Kim has fake butt but she has a little she had a little something to work with in the beginning but let's just say she didn't embrace her curves and she went all anorexic like Nicole Richie okay she, Kim just has made an icon and empire of her look like so so has Beyonce they have put curves back on the map now everyone is rushing to get this Brazilian butt and this tiny waist and they're wearing waist trainers and they're trying to get fuller lips and they're trying to get these you know so don't you know it's okay to, to have a trend every now and then but don't change who you are and how you feel about yourself just because something is popular at the time look at yourself in the mirror you can take your clothes off if you want if you're body conscious but look at yourself in the mirror and, and say you know what I look good you know I accept me I'm feeling myself like the Beyonce song I'm feeling myself if you don't feel yourself that means if you don't lo love yourself and feel good about how you look no one else is because you're putting out that insecure vibration like I'm not sure of myself I don't like the way I look um, you know don't look at me I'm ashamed of what I look like I'm not beautiful you're going to release that vibration out to the people around you and they're gonna feel the same way about you that you feel about yourself they're gonna be like she's not comfortable in her own skin what's wrong then they're gonna start looking for why you're not comfortable in your own skin and sometimes there's nothing wrong with you it's just all up here you know, like she's very insecure. Maybe she was abused as a child. Maybe, she, you know, they're going to start to speculate things about you because you don't love yourself. You know, whenever I run into somebody like that, I can feel how uncomfortable they are with themselves. And it makes me uncomfortable to be around them because I'm constantly thinking, well, are they looking at me thinking, you know, um, I wish this and I wish that and I'm ugly I don't feel good and you treat you know you get treated a lot different and you treat people a lot different when you're not self-confident you know you give people their way too much even when they shouldn't get their way you you bow down to people that you shouldn't be bowing down to when you have low self-esteem and you don't ask for what you want and assert yourself enough when you have low self-esteem so you have missed many opportunities just by having low self-esteem you have been run over you have not been taken seriously and then people actually receive the message that you know you're insecure and you don't love yourself and that you're not important so all of this information is being put on other people that are observing you so even if you gotta fake it until you make it act at least act like you have some self-esteem don't act like, are they looking at me? Oh my gosh, I don't look beautiful today. Oh my gosh, my hair, I hate my hair. You know, I don't like it when people say they hate things about themselves because that's like the, the worst thing you can say. You know, I hate, I hate, I hate how short my fingers are. I hate my legs, I hate my, well, think about the people that don't have legs. <laughs> You know, they will kill to have your legs, no matter how they look. So you have to stop negative talking about yourself. You have to fake it until you make it. Because if you want to build your self-esteem, you have to at least act like you have self-esteem. That way, when other people come around you, they treat you decent and raise your self-esteem. You know, so whatever you're acting like, whatever you're feeling like, you're going to attract automatically. So. Even if you feel like the worst thing walking this earth, just act. You know, if you ever took acting class and you have to act like you're a queen and you know, you know, you put on that persona, you get that queen arrogance. He's like, you know what? I'm this, I'm that. And just think of it as an act until you actually feel that way every day, you know? Um, I know a lot of people were raised religion and humbleness and meek and all that stuff. That's not going to get it because you can be humble in your heart when it comes to compassion, but not when it comes to yourself. No. Okay. So that's, that's what, you know, things like that talk about. You're not supposed to be humble. Literally, you're supposed to be humble in your heart. So 
yes. If you if there's something about yourself that you don't like, look at it and accept it. Only when we accept things about ourselves and other people can they be changed. You can't change something if you never if you have never accepted it for what it is. Okay? You can't change a law if you have never accepted that the law is unjust. You can't change, you know, the way someone thinks if you have never accepted that they are this certain way and think that certain way. You know, you, you're in denial. You're in denial. You're in denial about how you perceive yourself. So that has to be fixed first and foremost. And, you know... You'll see a lot of women who you don't think should have self-esteem have the highest self-esteem. Because if they don't have that self-esteem, then they're playing the victim. You know, they're playing the victim and they're not taking responsibility of who they are. You know, let's, let's just say, for instance, a, a very overweight person might put on a very, like, revealing or tight item of clothing and it might it might come in their size it might fit them but you know <laughs> it might not be the best choice of, of, of outfit but you will see them put that thing on and strut like they're a size zero and don't care and you will see you will see people pay attention to them you will see people more people you know say well I admire her for her confidence even though they won't say oh that's a beautiful outfit and you look good they're gonna say I admire her confidence you know why because that is what's sexy not how good you look in something but your confidence um, <laughs> um, that's why shoot that's why that's half the reason why men have women today because of their confidence it's not what they look like it's their confidence. And that's why half the women are married today. It's not what they look like. It was their confidence. Like, you don't want to marry all this? Okay. Psst, psst. You just lost because somebody else does. And, you know, if you act like that, they're going to believe it. You know, you if you act a certain way every day, and you have your confidence and you are very assertive and know who you are. You know, if you're if you're dating someone, they'll they're gonna get used to that confidence and it's gonna rub off on them and they're gonna start to believe whatever you're so confident about, they're gonna start to believe it and feel it. Like, oh my god, I can't let her get away. She's like the best thing ever. Oh my gosh, I will never find someone to replace her. Da 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 da. And even though that might not be true, they're going to believe it because you act that way every single day, you know, and they know that you know your worth. So act confidence. I don't care how low you feel or how bad you think you look. There's always someone out there that looks worse than you, who has more self-confidence than you, who's married with somebody with money. Okay. I, okay. There is somebody that I know, and I think I've told y'all this before. This lady is not attractive at all. She, well, in her own way, she is. Let's just say that. She is not, she is not the standard of beauty by many people's point of view. Let's just say that. But she has a, I don't even, it's not even her. She has a man who is a multi millionaire who bought her her own business and she wears all these outfits and she's just always beautified you know she's just head to toe always got on nice nice things and her confidence matched her lifestyle that's why she attracted that lifestyle so I'm going to end that there and let y'all think about that for a second. And I will see y'all later.